Hi, Sue Freeze here, the termite lady with Ecola Termite and Pest Control Services. So today we're going to talk about, is it a rat or is it a mouse? I'm going to tell you how to tell the difference. So why is it important to know the difference between a mouse or a rat? Because when you identify the situation, it's easier to come up with logical solutions to the problem. In our business, we need to be able to identify, and we also need to know what their food, what their water, what their mating habits are. We need to know all of that in order to take care of the problem. You know, you might have been lucky to see a rat, but if you saw a rat, like for instance, I had this happen once where they ran across my feet and I jumped up and I was like so scared and I was screaming like a, like a baby. But I knew what it was. First of all, rats and mice multiply very, very quickly. So we want to make sure that where you see one, there's more, there's more. So it's not just one, there's more. So we got to find out where they are, don't we? And we have to take care of their food. We got to get rid of the food source. And we have to get rid of the water source. Very important to do that. And that would be for rat or mice. So how do you know the difference? Their physical appearance is probably the easiest way to distinguish between a mouse or a rat. So mice weigh a lot less than rats do. For instance, a mouse might be an ounce, whereas a Nor Norway rat might be as much of a, as a pound. That's quite a difference. But then you also have to think about rats have babies, so it could be a baby Norway rat versus a mouse. So there's other ways of distinguishing. A rat has coarser hair. So if you're up close and you can see the rat, then you can see if it's like soft furry fur or if it's more coarse. And that would be a rat more than a mouse. So what if you haven't seen, but you see signs? What kind of signs? Signs like poop? Let's talk about that. Mice, they usually have pointier poop. And rats have more blunt and a little bit bigger. Well, a little bit, a lot bigger. And so that's just uh, something that if you see that, you're gonna go, okay, then I probably have a mouse problem. Another way is by your ears is that you can hear, and mice, because they're smaller, the sound's not gonna be as large, you might not hear it. Whereas rats, you can hear them scurrying around maybe in the attic, you can hear scratching, and so those are just other things that you can be aware of to distinguish between the two and where they might be. So if you're hearing a lot of noise, then it's probably a rat. So now I'd like to get into the behavior. Mice are very curious. They will just follow each other into a trap. They will follow each other. You can have multiple mice on a glue board, for instance. Whereas rodents, like rats, are a lot more cautious. They have their little whiskers and they follow along the wall. So the best way to take care of that situation is to do it in a corner because they will butt into a corner. And they use their, their, their whiskers as their feelers. But rats, because they're so cautious, this is that when they see a trap, because it's something new to their environment, they will avoid it at all costs. They will go around it. We've seen it on video. They, they just won't go towards something that's new. We sometimes don't set the trap. They'll just leave the trap not set so that they get comfortable about getting near it and nearer and, and then they walk over it and nothing happens so then they feel like everything is okay. Then we go back and we set the trap and then we get what we're after. So treating a rat problem is a lot different than treating a mouse problem. Each of them have issues. You do not want them defecating in your food source. You don't want them eating your dog food. You just want to get rid of these things. They have a place, but it's not in your home environment. So in summation, it's really important to know what you're dealing with. Is it a mouse? Is it a rat? And then to understand what your options are. My suggestion is to hire a professional, but if you want to try it on your own, okay. Anyway, this is Sue Freeze, the termite lady. Please, if you liked this video, I would love it if you would like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much.